Hello. First of all, this video that I have playing says uh, top 50 most popular songs by NCS, which is no copyright music, which means if it's playing and you can hear it, then I shouldn't get in trouble. Who knows? Second of all, look at that. I'm wearing something else. The other sweater that I'm so obsessed with is right there. <laughs> this time I'm wearing something else. A shower thingy. Uh, third of all, looky, looky. I'm so happy. They were one of my favorite pair of earrings. One, obviously, that I lost when the house burned down. And uh, finally ordered them again. I'm so happy. I love these earrings. Yay. It is flipping weird. I mean, all of these, these, these little rings here. Uh, there's one. I stuck it here. This little ring here. Uh, you can't see it. What the heck? There we go. There is a ring there. That ring uh, is exactly the same as this one. Where's the? There it is. It's exactly the same as this one. They're really simple, easy, whatever rings. Um, I had this whole set, except that I lost one or two of these tiny ones. Uh, I had the whole set and lost them, uh, except that ring. That ring was the only piece of jewelry that made it out with me because it was the only one I was wearing. Because sometimes, um, where is it? I can't find it. It's on here. A reference to something from the future. Um, the whole needing, sometimes my skin can't take... Like, it gets too sensitive, and I, I like, I, my, my, oh, hey, there it is. Sensory, take it off. Jewelry and clothing and glasses and hair ties. That wasn't the topic that I was going to talk about on this video, but let's go with that one, because then it'll be a little more related. This video is kind of all over the place, because there's many different things, but I'm supposed to be doing a one-shot thought. It's not a one-shot thought. It's a little bit of an update, but also a one-shot thought. It's on the list. It's not really a one-shot thought. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um... What was I saying? That ring is the only one that made it out, but now I got the whole set again, and I got the earrings again, and my point is, it is flipping weird when you, every single time I get something in the mail that is something I rebought that is the same, not just the same, um, thing, but the exact same thing. Like, you know, if you buy books, you can buy different copies of books, and it's the same book, but it's got a different cover, or whatever. It is weird. It, it just feels so weird and you won't understand it until you've been through it to suddenly have the same thing in your hand again. It's like, you came back to life. Weird. I thought you didn't exist anymore. And it did. And now it's back in my hands. And it does. I mean, it because anyway, it's weird. And that wasn't what this was supposed to be about. It's not a one-shot thought anymore, but it sort of is because it's on the list. So, the sensory thing, since I mentioned that, the whole reason only one of them... One ring, one piece of jewelry made it out of my house with me. This necklace is short enough that I've been able to wear it to bed several times. But when I was younger, I used to wear, I used to be able to wear necklaces to bed because I need necklaces in general. I have to be wearing a necklace. Um, one of my coworkers said uh, she can't wear necklaces because she has a tendency to break them by accident because of the vigorous activity she's doing or whatnot. Whereas I'm one of those people, necklaces was like, it took me years, like I was well over my 20th birthday, I think I was close to 25 or something like that, around 25, when I actually pierced my ears, because for the longest time, I didn't want to. Part of me wanted to because, like, it was something that we weren't supposed to do when we were younger, our dad didn't want us to, for various reasons, long story, anyway, um... But then after my sisters got them, part of me wanted to because I never like being left out and I like being cool and whatnot. So I felt like, but at the same time, it also kind of made me feel special to be the only one in the family, girl, in the family that didn't have pierced ears. But I liked the feeling of no holes in my ears, the perfect feeling of the skin of my earlobes and all that stuff. And I kind of didn't want earrings. I didn't want to pierce because as soon as you get that, it feels different and you can never go back again. But I did finally end up caving in and getting my ears pierced. But aside, like, ear, earrings and, because I can't wear earrings to bed because of the back of them, that flipping hurts. It's like, ah, ugh, I can't do it. I can't, I can't sleep with earrings in. So I have to change them all the time. And that's another finicky thing. I don't like doing finicky thingies where I have to keep taking it off and putting it on and taking it off. I want to be able to put it on and forget about it, right? And it's the same with rings. Sometimes, it, like, if it's not on the right finger or whatnot, you know. But the whole sensory thing... Like, necklaces, longer ones, they get tangled and start strangling me in bed, and then I'm afraid they're going to break and whatnot. 
So sometimes I can wear them to bed, and I think for a while there, when I was younger, I could. And then it got to the point where I couldn't anymore. This one is short enough, it doesn't do it as bad, so I can. But then there's been a few nights lately where I did still have to take it off. And it's all kind of related to, yeah, the reason I wasn't wearing jewelry, when our house burned down, I wouldn't have been wearing earrings anyway, because I can't sleep on them. But I wasn't wearing a necklace. Um, see, like two days before, two or three days before our house burned down, I was wearing one to bed, because I had just lost my dog, Chisana. Um, like a week before our house burned down and in the midst of missing her I was wearing a necklace that went down to about here it was a chain and it was her dog tag that she had been wearing for a while it was a round um, blue thing with stars on it and on the back of it was her name and two phone numbers I can't remember which ones uh, cell phone and home phone or my cell phone and Vicky's cell phone or something and I can't remember if that was the one that was right and it was Asuka's that was wrong one of them had the wrong uh, a wrong phone number on it. I forget which one it was. I think Chisana's was correct. But either way, it was her dog tag. And I had been wearing that. Um, through the, It took me like a week to get over the way she died and everything that was happening. And my doctor told me I should have taken extra of the one medication because it it's emotionally impactful enough that... Um, um, yeah, he, he was saying... He, he was validating the fact that it was emotional enough to count as being emotional enough. Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, and it's over five minutes. I told you this is not really one thought shot thought. It's many different thoughts, kind of sort of related to something. So it's sort of kind of an update and sort of kind of a one shot thought because I'm trying to get through this flipping list. It is so flipping long and I've lost interest in it because mm, my brain's already moved on to another topic. I'm sorry. Um, a topic I've kind of been avoiding because I don't know. Anyway, I'll get into that once I start. Anyway, what was I saying? The necklace that I was wearing. I was wearing it because I was like, you know, emotionally very... It took me a whole week to get over how she died and all the rest of that stuff. And uh, process it. To process the way she died and, and, and the fact that she died and the way she died and all the rest of that stuff. So I was wearing the necklace to kind of help me process it because it kind of, you know, the feeling of her. I was holding her after she died for almost like an hour while waiting for the vet. And it's just that feeling of the necklace right there and her and all that stuff and I missed it. And yeah, so it was helping me. But within a couple of days before the fire burned our house down, I had been wearing that necklace. But then I was feeling okay again, so I wasn't wearing it to bed anymore. So it's gone. Instead of, like, I mean, seriously, two more days and I would still have that necklace. Thanks. Um, but, yeah, even rings. The thing is, usually I'd be wearing, I had how many rings? And usually, usually I'd be wearing, like, two Maybe three of them. I have this thing where if the rings touch each other, it, like, the reason that it's... There's multiple different reasons why I started wearing a ring on this finger. I'm not going to get into that right now. But one of the reasons, um, you know, if rings are beside each other and they're like... Like, if they were on this finger and this finger or this finger and this finger or this finger and this finger or whatnot. And they're like, they start scraping together. That sound and that feeling, I just, I can't. I can't. I hate that sound and I hate that feeling. I can't. A tiny bit every now and then maybe is fine, but I can't with it. I can't. So I have to, in case you hadn't noticed, I don't usually wear rings like on fingers right beside each other because of that. But usually I'd be wearing at least two two rings because I'd be wearing one on each of these fingers or one on this one and one on this one or something, right? But sometimes because of this whole sensory thing, this sensory overload thing, this is a thing that happens with ADHD people. It's a thing that happens with autistic people. It's a thing that happens with, it, it, it is a legitimate thing that happens with a few different people, a diff, few different disorders. It's a side effect of, and it, it's like literally a sensory thing. It's like when I'm at work and my hair is like this. It's back in a ponytail and then I have like three or four clips. One, two, three, four, five, upwards of five holding all my hair back because I'm supposed to wear it under a hairnet, right? And then after I take, even if I can take the hairnet off, I'm still trying to do things that it's really irritating. All of a sudden my hair is like this while I'm trying to mop the floor. <laughs> or if I'm like, you know, <laughs> wearing gloves and I'm trying to do something and all of a sudden it's like, Psh, and I'm like, Psh, I can't get, my hands are wet. I can't get my hair out of my face. So it's just smarter and easier and way less trouble and way less finicky, etc. to have it out of my face. So I keep it up. But pretty much as soon as I'm done work, even often when I'm at work, like I have really thick and heavy hair, right? I very easily get headaches when the longer my hair is, but even when it's short like this, those ponytails that are like up here, 
and they look really cool. I really can't do that for very long at all because I start getting a headache and I always have because my hair is really thick and heavy. And even though, like it was even worse when my hair was almost down to my butt. But um but it's 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 a form of restriction for one thing and even these these two rings on these fingers I love that feeling but at the same time because they're kind of loose on my fingers and can easily slide off and stuff, I lost one already because of that. Especially when my hands get colder and then they it's even easier for it to slide off. I love the look of rings on those fingers and I really like the feeling too. But depending on what I'm doing, I have to take them off because I'm like, I can't with it. Because my, my half of my brain is focused on that and I can't properly do what I'm trying to do. Because I'm so afraid of losing these stupid rings. And if a ring on another finger is like too... This one here, I'm not really afraid of losing because it's actually holding on pretty good. But still, even that one, I'm not used to it. I'm not, like, it's not completely 100% comfortable or part of me, so I can just plain forget it anymore. So depending on what I'm doing, I'll even have to take that one off. But that's that's kind of like an, an awareness thing and a distraction thing and a whatever. But like the whole sensory thing, it's a real legitimate thing where all of a sudden it's like um, I just have to take it off. I can't, my, I physically and mentally can't stand the feeling of jewelry. Sometimes certain articles of clothing, um, like my glasses after a certain while, like I don't wear glasses at home because like around my back, especially right now at work, especially like we don't have to wear the goggles right now, but when we have to wear the hairnet, which has got like a line here around the ears, it, it, it because you know, it's a hairnet, it comes... It rests like that on you, right? To cover all of your hair. So it's base, it's around this part of my body. And with my hair pulled back like that, and with the hairnet, and with the goggles, and with my glasses, and with the mask, that's like five things resting right around my ears. Ouch, okay? Ouch! Really ouch. Really fast. And I have to wear that the, those things pretty much the entire time. Like, a, a combination of those things for the whole seven and a half hours while I'm at work, right? But even just plain my glasses. This is why I can't wear headbands. Ever since I had to start, I mean, even before I had to wear glasses, I couldn't wear headbands all the time because of how much discomfort it caused back here. But as soon as I started wearing glasses too, I'm like, forget it. I can't wear headbands anymore. I love the look of hairbands. I really do. I love that look. Just those ones you like hang in there and they're like doing that with your hair. I absolutely love that look and I wish I could do it, but it hurts and I can't. And I know there's cloth ones, but I haven't figured out a, a friend of mine showed me she uses like clips to hold it on there, but I'm not doing it right because it doesn't work. And or that kind of defeats the purpose of the headband because then I can feel the clips and all that stuff. So it's like, it doesn't look the same anymore because if you have to use a clip to use it to keep the headband in, then what's the point that destroys the look? And also, I would probably be able to feel those those clips, and that would start irking me and start not being good. So yeah, it's it's a, it's a whole overall. This is like um, just the whole feeling of things and the whole. I mean, because sometimes, like, the sensory things, that's part of why I had my hair short, have my hair short, because there are some days, I think I might have mentioned it in another video once, I, I'm pretty sure I did in one of my older videos, I was talking about the fact that, yeah, sometimes I just can't stand the feeling anymore, like, to have that right there, if I couldn't feel the fact that my hair was pulled back, sometimes, just this part of me, I think it's mainly this part right here, but also right here, here and back here, just having the hair on it is like, ah! I really want to scream. I can't. I can't anymore. Just chop it all off. Just take it all away. Just, I can't. Um, so yeah, but then because of the, the length of my hair, I try to put my hair up in a ponytail or something and it doesn't work because by the time I get all of what I need off my head, it's not the same anymore because now this, and sometimes the more I take away and the better it feels, the more just the tiniest one little thing, one is gonna irk me to no end. Like it, all of a sudden, like that's when the perfection feeling, oh, that feels so good. Like, can you tell even right now, just because I'm talking about it, I'm thinking about it, getting it off of that, oh, that feels so much better. And I've started to realize actually, I don't know if I mentioned that in, one, in the video or not, but at one point I realized that if I get my hair wet, it actually helps getting my hair wet. So that it's not, I think part of it is a static thing. And like this part of my hair right here, I accidentally cut too much of it too short and it's oh, to the nth degree because it won't stay behind my ear. 
Okay, I have no idea where this video is going or why it's going. I just suddenly felt like talking because I get super excited when I'm alone, home alone. And I'm home alone again for the first time in almost a week. So it just automatically makes me excited. You have no idea. It really does. It just automatically makes me excited because I almost never get to be home alone. And it's just... Stop it! <laughs> it's just completely different being home alone versus having somebody else in the house with you. No matter who that somebody else in that is. And no matter what they're doing or where they are or whatnot. Just being home alone is just like special. And um, a part of it I think is just my personality. Part of it is maybe ADHD or something or being a highly sensitive person. And part of it is just playing the fact that, you know, my whole life I grew up with nine people in the house, right? My parents and seven of us kids. That is a lot of people. I always shared a bedroom. Sometimes I even shared a bed with my sister. That's a lot of people. You like never get to be alone. Ever. So being alone is actually really special. <laughs> you just don't understand unless you've been there. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's a whole bunch of different things at once. And I covered the sensory in this. I'm going to maybe put it, I don't think I can put it in the one shot thought anymore. It's already 16 minutes. I can't even really put it in the short ramblies because it's actually a long rambly. So, oh, hey, this is another thing. I might as well just mention it was really weird. There was, um, because of her whole house, like talk about coincidental, nobody could have predicted this type of situation. Um, one day somebody dropped something off at the door and there was bags of some clothes and some shoes for us and my sister was trying to rack her brain thinking of who this person was she's like I don't think I know them but we've had we had multiple strangers that we didn't know giving us stuff and people that knew somebody else in the family but didn't directly know us so we didn't know directly them give us stuff so my sister's like well it must just be somebody that I don't know so like I got up and I went through the stuff and there was several things that we were going to keep and this was one of them and most of the stuff was put on the basket this was put on the back of the couch the next day the lady showed up again and apparently was like ah uh, I got the address wrong this is not where I meant to drop that stuff off and I was on the phone and my sister was like so startled or like whatever she's like oh okay so she went and grabbed all the stuff that was on the basket and the cup the one pair of shoes that it was going to keep because it did fit she put it all back in the bag and gave the bag to the lady and the lady left and then my sister went oops this was still sitting on the couch so it's uh, a really comfortable shawl i'm sorry that i accidentally stole it <laughs> uh, that was just a really weird awkward situation and uh, a very unique situation um oops so that was that that happened and now i've got a shawl that i actually like although it's really it's different but it's comfy it, it kind of feels like you're wrapping a blanket around yourself but you got armholes so anyway there you go i didn't mean to make a 20 minute video but hey it's been a little while most of them so far have been i mean most of them lately have been like super short so here you go a longer one that covers many things and has a part of this list in it all at the same time. Uh, I can't think of anything else that I can just quickly stick in there too. It would take me... Mm -hmm. Well, that one is related, but you know what? It's almost 20 minutes, so I'm just going to like, whatever, I'll put that one in a different one. So there you go. There's a weird little update for you where I was like high on on the fact that I'm alone. So I'm like overly energetic. I was not anywhere near this energetic. I was like actually fairly because of the stupid weather lately and whatnot has made me go bleh a lot this month. But there you go. Just because I'm all alone, all of a sudden, hi, -ba! So there you go. Uh, 19 something minute video for you. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about, you know, sensory things and like, I don't know. Whatever. Make comments if you want to make comments. Bye!